Welcome again to my weekly webcast. Uh, we're now using our webcast for Ask Chuck, Ask Chuck Questions. You may uh, remember I tweeted uh, yesterday that I'd take your email, Facebook, or Twitter questions uh, this way. I welcome your questions, and uh, I, I welcome them uh, because what's representative government's all about? It's about uh, uh, communicating, dialogue, and this is one way of doing it. So I thank you very much for your uh, questions, and so I'm going to go to my BlackBerry, and, uh, and the first question is from M Michael uh, on Twitter, asked uh, me this question. Michael is from Cedar Rapids. When are we going to fully audit the Fed? Well, first of all, uh, we have to pass legislation that gives the Government Accountability Office that authority to regulate the Fed. I'm a co-sponsor of that bill in the United States Senate. I'm going to push for it. But earlier this year, on a housing bill, I was able to get uh, uh, an amendment passed that would allow the Government Accountability Office for the first time to at least audit that part of the Fed's work that comes through uh, what we call the TARP legislation, the bailout money, whatever, uh, uh, whatever amount the Fed puts out on that, the Government Accountability Office now has an opportunity uh, to uh, audit that. Uh, and that's a step in the right direction. But I want to tell you that that's just a minuscule part of what the Fed does uh, and what uh, the, uh, the Government Accountability Office ought to be doing in the future. So the next question is, uh, uh, comes from Facebook, uh, Tom, Cherokee, Iowa. What was, your, uh, what was your vote on the health care bill? Well, uh, the only health care bill that has come, uh, uh, that I've cast a vote on thus far, is the one that was out of the Senate Finance Committee, and I voted against that bill out of the Senate Finance Committee. Now that bill in toto will not come up on the floor of the Senate. Uh, it's going to be merged with the Senate Health Committee bill uh, by Senator Reid, and we don't know exactly when that bill's coming to the floor, but within the next uh, week or two, I'm sure it'll be up. Uh, and at that point, I won't be able to tell you till we get there, but I think I can tell you that I'm going to be involved with a lot of other members of the Senate in trying to amend it and fix it uh, and see what we do on our amending process. I don't know where that will lead me to a yes or no vote, but I think, if, for instance, if it has a public option in it, a government-run health insurance in entitlement program, I will uh, probably vote against it because I think that's a step in the direction of a complete government takeover of, of uh, health care. Now, if your question uh, from Tom in Cherokee uh, is because of the House vote Saturday night, obviously I didn't have a chance to vote on that bill because I'm not a member of the House. But if I were a member of the House, I'm sure I would have voted against that as well. So I thank uh, both of you for sending in your uh, emails, uh, Twitter uh, and Facebook, uh, and I ask you to continue to do that next week. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, those of you who sent in uh, questions, they will be answered uh, by mail. Uh, the rest of this week, we're spending on the military construction appropriation bill. I ask you to uh, continue to uh, communicate with me this way, and I'll be back with you next week on my webcast. Thank you very much.